5 Reasons Why China Is Not An Ally Of Russia Putin sees China as Russia's most valuable friend. Xi Jinping keeps up the pretense, but facts don't support this delusion. Here are some stories that prove otherwise. 1. China has refused to buy Russian grain. China has been buying a lot of wheat. Total imports surged more than 60% from a year earlier. But of the 6 million tons purchased in 2023, just 30,000 tons are Russian. Russian officials have repeatedly tried to broker a deal. Even Putin himself pleaded with Xi Jinping. But China says Russian wheat is substandard. Instead, it prefers to buy grain from Australia, Canada, and the US. 2. China is building a railway around Russia. Russia has long considered Central Asia its domain. There are five former Soviet republics in Central Asia. Nominally, they are part of a trade bloc with Russia. In reality, they are increasingly looking toward Beijing. On May 18th and 19th, the Central Asia-China summit took place in Xi'an. Russia was not represented. China, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan have signed an agreement. It envisions a new railway connecting the three countries. The Trans-Eurasian Railroad might be expanded to Iran, but it will not involve Russia. 3. China has taken an ambiguous position on Ukraine. After Xi's visit to Moscow, Putin thought they were allies. But soon thereafter, China reiterated its stance. It respects Ukraine's territorial integrity. That was a clear signal. Beijing doesn't recognize Russia's claims. It has never recognized the annexation of Crimea either. China has come up with a peace plan for Ukraine. The plan is rather vague and critical of the West, but it makes no mention of ceding territory to Russia. Henry Kissinger said in a recent interview, I have never met a Russian leader who said anything good about China. And I have never met a Chinese leader who said anything good about Russia. 4. China is using Vladivostok as a domestic transit hub. Vladivostok is a Russian city that used to be Chinese. It's the largest port in Russia's Far East today. And Russia has agreed to open it up to Chinese users. China will use the port as a domestic transit hub. It won't be used for trading with Russia. This may seem like a normal economic partnership, but in March, China's geographic authority renamed Vladivostok. Now it must be called by its Chinese name, Haitian Y, on Chinese maps. But this only applies to labels in Chinese. Maps using Latin letters still say Vladivostok. Looks like a sneaky move. 5. China is disappointed in Russia's military. Chinese generals used to see Russia as a role model. They praised Russian successes in Crimea, Georgia, and Syria. Exercises between the two countries' armies have focused on interoperability. Recent Chinese military reforms have copied those in Russia, but Chinese commanders have been shocked by Putin's miscalculations in Ukraine. The lackluster performance of Russian weaponry also came as a blow. Russia has asked China to provide it with weapons. China used to be one of the largest buyers of Russian arms. Now the situation is reversed. But so far, China has not agreed to provide anything. China doesn't want to risk trade with the European Union. Europe is a more important trading partner than Russia. Putin and Xi spoke of limitless friendship last year. But it seems there are limits, after all. Is there any friendship that remains to be seen?